Hello. Welcome to Piggy Power. Um, and another video. Um, it's a pretty special video because it's the first video after we've hit the milestone of 100 subscribers. That's not really much to shout about. I know some have millions, but um, that doesn't really matter. I've still got 100 subscribers. Um, and that's really good fun, and that will hopefully push me forward through March. I really wasn't sure about things that were going to happen in March, and um, I thought if we hit 100 by the 1st of March, um, which is today, and we did that, so really thankful for everyone doing that, so things are going to go exciting. So up to date as well, either before or after this, um, hopefully there will be a little walk around um, of the car in its current state, the 306. A bit of winter mode, so it doesn't look quite so good, but um, in its current state, because as I say things will change, but we'll get to that later. Um, so I thought I'd do a parts haul. Um, a lot of people do all sorts of hauls for like home stuff and clothes, but I don't buy either of those, obviously. Um, so what have I been buying? Well, for the last few months, I made the decision basically during winter to for things to change. Um, change the use of the car a little bit and uh, have a bit more fun. So, uh, going against the grain as well, everyone likes the, the so-called image of a car and it should look such and such a way. Well, it doesn't. So, I'm going to go back to standard a little bit. So, we bought some, well, I thankfully had still a couple of old standard badges. So, that's the front one, obviously a boot badge to go with that. Um, I black masked the lights, or grey masked them, if you like. So we got some standard lights. Uh, so thank you very much to Pompeii for that. Um, we have to get some standard wipers. The amount of these I've chucked out is ridiculous. But thanks to Puglove, Jamie, for those. Um, basically because I painted them and I just want to get away from that a little bit. And uh, then I think this was Tom that helped me out with some of these. Um, Bash Bernard, if, if people want to know. Just some very standard looking... Um, I might colour code them if I can really be bothered, but I'm more interested in their manual. So the lighter gives a bit of inclination where we're going to go with the car. Uh, just a standard boring old mirror because we've got an automatic one in there. Again, a bit heavier, a bit more complicated. Um, anything else cosmetic? Uh, well, I got a fresh splitter. Um, thank you to Dum Dum for that, or Chris. Um, very good price. Really pleased with that. Mine's like twisted in the middle and looks really bad. It's just it's died a death. So that's a nice thing from the outside. So that's pretty much I think all I got for the outside. Yeah, I think so. So what about other stuff? Well, uh, in this little box over here, we've got an array of gauges uh, because we're going to change the interior look a little bit. So we've got a bunch of gauges and a bunch of gauge pods to go with those. Um, a couple other bits and bobs which we'll come back to later on with those. So that's interior. What else is the interior? Uh, well, obviously, as you can see, and you saw as I sat wearing them, we got some fiberglass seats. So these were X show, so we're a good price. I'm really pleased with those. Nice and lightweight. And that will obviously come in handy. And um, we also got some nice subframes to go with that, which are nicely painted up. So that's really good. Oh, not forgetting my amazing eBay bargain of four steel wheels for two quid which I professionally painted with Hammerite and a paintbrush um, and thanks to Central Tires for sticking in my uh, my Michelins on there so we've got some wider tires to go on that um, again the old steels they're um, well if you dig them it's not much of a bother I'll just put a bit more Hammerite on it and uh, they're actually a bit lighter than the wheels I've got at the moment and they're really lighter than sort of cyclones which everyone has to put cyclones on and do a 40 mil drop so we'll have some steel wheels on them as well so it's a bit of a different look um, that's definitely it, I think, the outside. Um, Interior-wise, there's not much else going to happen. Under the bonnet. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, I've got one of these cream ones, not a black one. But this is a, an S2000 air filter. Um, it's just huge, and they're really cheap. So, um, I've got one on there at the moment, but obviously you have to oil them and that, which you don't mind. Obviously, it's a lifetime filter, but just a simple paper filter. I'm um, going to have to get some reducers for that it's just a huge inlet like that um, but that's a big old filter for like 13 quid so I'm quite happy with that and we'll see what difference that makes let the turbo breathe a little bit um, we've also got some more uh, piping as well intercooler piping because to be totally honest I had to bodge mine together a little bit with old bits of pipe and like original 406 boost pipes because it was a bit skint at the time um, so Chris helped me out again with those we've got some some other blue piping just to replace some bits that are getting a bit tired um, I don't know if you can see those on camera, but just some other blue piping, just to, to match. We do need two more 90 degrees though, I must order those actually. Uh, 
Uh, what else? Oh, when well, we got the seats, it's always going to need harnesses. So we've got some harnesses as well, which I think what I might do is is clean them up a little bit. <laughs> they are properly grotty. So we'll just un unstitch the sort of emblems that have gone faded, and then I'm going to try wrap them up into s in some pillowcases and put them in the washing machine. I've done that with other stuff like this, seat belts and that, and they should come up pretty well. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, putting your harnesses in the washing machine. Um, and the engine bay, um, still I have a strut brace which doesn't fit. Um, but as I seem to have found with trying a few of them, is the 2.1 diesel obviously is, is a different shape, manifolds a lot higher. Um, and they don't fit any of them that you can buy. So what I'm going to do is to be honest, the quality of it is pretty shoddy as it is. You probably can't see that, but there's like well gaps and everything on this one. It's not a homebrew, but it's just a bit poor. So we're going to use these as a nice template. We'll cut it and we'll get some more 25mm uh, tube in and we'll make a decent strut brace, I think. Properly good strut brace, but we'll have to work around the manifold, etc. So that'll be a bit of a custom job. But we did grab that for a tenner from someone, I can't remember who that was. Um, I want to redo the piping. Uh, that's the brake piping. I've got a brake, not a bias, but a restrictor for the rear, obviously, because. Um, you, you need that, you discs on the back. So we've got a proper bias valve, well, a better quality one I've got in there now, um, and lots of copper pipe. So we'll renew some of the brake, brake lines. Um, the only thing I almost didn't renew on that car when we rebuilt it, um, and some friendly unions for that, so that's really good. Um, we've got a little duct, we'll see how we get on with that. We might be putting this little duct in it, it's a NACA or NACA or whatever you want to call it, NASA, or it's an abbreviation, but basically it's a duct which helps bring the flow of air in, that's for the air filter. Um, we've got an oil cooler. Now if you watched or, or followed some of the pictures of the actual build itself on 306OC, 306OC.co.uk, I'll try and put a link down, but just Google it. Then I haven't got a good history with oil coolers, well, more specifically the pipes. So I've got a genuine local one here with the original pipes, and I'm hoping I can trust those a little bit better. Um, history being that they kept blowing basically, which it wasn't fun on the outside lane of the motorway. Uh, what else have we got in here? Um, obviously uh, we've got a thermostatic uh, local plate as well, that's for the oil cooler, so it only lets oil flow when it gets too hot or above a certain temperature. Um, we got some um, DS2500 brake pads. They are part warm, which is obviously not normally a done thing with brake pads, but these are worth a lot of money. So thank you Anton for hooking me up with some of those. They're going to make a massive difference. Uh, a swirl pot. Not very common thing to see in an XUD engine bay. Hmm, a swirl pot. Nice and shiny anyway. So um, yeah, things will be happening with that um, once we've done some other things in March, which I'll come to. Uh, so some fuel pipes to go with that, obviously. Um, and some other, little, um, some other little bits down here. Which we'll have some fun with. Can't even remember what that's for. Oh well, we'll have some fun with that. Uh, yeah, some other little bits and bobs down there, which at some point we'll uh, we'll, we'll have some fun with. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. So that's my part haul kind of so far. Um, I am still looking. Well, maybe you can help. Have you got a five door three o six? Are your front windows manual? Then will you sell me those? <laughs> so I want some front uh, windows um, mechanisms that aren't electric that are manual. Um, I don't know the reasons of those are starting to become apparent. If you, if you know into your cars, why I'm getting lots of stuff that will mean stripping stuff out. Um, oh, there's a couple of bits hanging up there. Some other trim bits which um, I've currently got painted on the car, and I, I don't want to do that anymore. So uh, they're just up there on a shelf, but just some trim. It's not there's nothing exciting, I'm afraid. I think that's it. That's amazing how long that's taken me to get all those bits together and how quickly I've managed, well maybe you think I've just taken a long time of your time to put those together. Okay, so there it is, there's all the parts. So what's the plan? <laughs>